Loving God, you have called us into this church to share fellowship with each other, to be your family in this place, to be one people bound together in love. Together we are the body of Christ, bind us together in love. But we come today recognising you have called us also to a wider fellowship, a fellowship which extends across denominational differences beyond geographical boundaries out and into the world. Though we may never meet in person, we are one with fellow Christians everywhere, united by one faith, sharing the common goal of taking the good news of Christ to the end of the earth. Together, we are the body of Christ. Bind us together in love. Open our horizons through this time together. Broaden our vision, enlarge our understanding, and help us to glimpse more fully the extent of your purpose the wonder of your love and the richness of the Christian family to which we belong. Loving God, we thank you for all that we have, our homes, food, our opportunities for education, clothing and modern appliances, plus health care and so much more. Loving God, hear our prayer though for the have-nots of this world, for those who have no homes, living as refugees or living rough on the streets, for those living in inadequate housing, the shacks and the huts of shanty towns, or bed and breakfast accommodation because there's nowhere else for them to go. Loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world. We pray for those we have no food, their crops having failed, their economies burdened by debt, or their labours not fairly rewarded. We pray for those who have no fresh water, daily fa facing the threat of disease, and the nightmare of drought. And for those who have no resources, condemned to a life of poverty, with no prospect of respite, no opportunity to help themselves. Loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world. We pray for those who have no access to education, to a health service or a welfare system, no one to turn to for help or support. In the context of this world of ours, we are the haves, those who have been fortunate, those who enjoy plenty. Stir our hearts to respond to the have-nots. Help us to be ready to say no to ourselves so that we may say yes to them, to sacrifice a little that they must receive much. Loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world in the name of Christ. We pray for those who in different ways spend much of their lives in the service of others, those whose work offers us the care, the security, the opportunities, and the support that we take for granted in society. <coughs> in all their work, Lord, uphold them. We think of those in hospitals or hospices, in the police, the armed forces, or the emergency services, in voluntary services and charities, in social and community work, schools, colleges, and universities, in the church or mission field, in local, national, and international government, in all their work, Lord, uphold them. Lord of all, give guidance to all who work with young people in organisations dedicated to children and through all the giving and receiving from them. Help us to make that grant real. Lord, in your great compassion, hear our prayer. Amen.